the holiday season wouldn't be the same without a poinsettia. My name is Monty Holmes. I'm a horticulturist with Smithsonian Gardens, and I work here at the Smithsonian Gardens Greenhouses. The poinsettia is a common holiday plant. It's probably one of the most sold potted flowers in the United States. It's grown for its brack. A lot of people think that those are the flowers, but the bracts are a specialized mutated leaf that form around the reproductive organs or the flower of the plant. So if you look inside the bract, you'll see the little yellow cyathea. Those are actually the flowers. The Aztecs would actually use the pigment in the bracts as dye for their fabrics, and they would also use the sap or the latex as a fever reducer. It's commonly thought that poinsettias are poisonous, but it's not true. It was introduced to the United States in the early 1820s by Joel Poinsett, who was instrumental in the founding of a Smithsonian National Museum. There's probably over a hundred different varieties of poinsettias that are in production. Your most common colors are gonna be reds and whites, and pinks, but there's novelty colors that are jingle bells that have speckled white and red. There's some that have crinkled up leaves and are called winter rose varieties. And if you can think of it, there's probably a poinsettia that resembles that color. The Smithsonian Gardens decorates the museums during the holiday season and a huge element of that decoration are the poinsettias. We use 1,700 to 2,000 poinsettias a year. The popularity is not decreasing. When we sleeve them up and we ship them downtown, there's a lot of transportation. So to help prevent the mechanical damage, we actually stake and tire the poinsettias. And without the help from the volunteers, we just couldn't do all of that ourselves. If you want to keep your poinsettia from one season to the next, remember that they will take the full sun, but they are photoperiodic. So unless they get those constant hours of darkness from early October on, the bracts won't form and they will not flower in time. A large role of Smithsonian Gardens is just to enhance the visitor's experience by directly improving the environment, whether it be our public gardens, any of the exterior landscapes or the interior plantscapes. The poinsettias are part of that.